Hey guys, welcome to Franklin Woodworks. Today I've got a short video on my bandsaw fence. Remember when I upgraded my table saw fence? I used extruded aluminum from Mitsumi Engineering. Cheaper and stronger than the stuff you can buy at the woodworking store. I've also used it on my miter saw and making an adjustable stop block for it was a snap. But today I made a fence for my 30 year old grizzly bandsaw so I can do some accurate resawing. I wish I had filmed actually making it, but I wasn't sure it would work, so I'm just going to recap the steps I took. The first thing I did was drill and tap holes on the edge of a length of extruded aluminum. Then I used those holes to mark holes on the side of a piece the same length. I drilled those holes a few sizes bigger and hogged out enough of the aluminum so that the machine screws could freely pass through these holes. I learned that making these holes bigger was necessary because I don't have the skill or the equipment to line these holes up perfectly. From here it's just a matter of starting the screws, then using a flat surface to line everything up before tightening it all down. The result is a perfect 90 degree fence. The tolerances on the Mitsumi aluminum are incredible, but I'm sure you'd have success with the aluminum from the woodworking store too. Using a simple combination square, I squared the fence to the blade of my bandsaw and used clamps to hold it in place. I should mention that I recently tuned up my bandsaw using the method employed by Alex Snodgrass shown on a video by the Wood Whisperer. Anyway, the results are better than I expected. No blade drift and a pretty good cut even just using a simple 3 8 inch blade. I'll leave all the appropriate links in the description below. Just in case you haven't subscribed yet, today is your lucky day because the good folks at YouTube have made that simple by just clicking on the big red subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and there you go.